Is your internet slowing your business down? If so, call the City of Dublin for our fiber optic based internet, 478 296 1008. Welcome, everybody. I'm glad to have with me today Liz Coleman. We are here, as you can probably tell, anybody's been here, Theater Dublin and uh, Liz, uh, we were talking off camera a little while ago, so much history here. Lots of history. Super excited about it too. And I think I insulted Liz, I'm going to just have to say it on camera, I would actually <laughs> talked to Griffin Lovett earlier this week. Uh, everybody knows Griffin and he had a lot to do with uh, restoring this theater. And We want to thank Griffin, I just want to thank him on camera. Why? One reason I bring it up, the other thing was I'd ask him to get Liz some history on the theater, and she tells him a while ago, well, I know the history. I said, well, isn't that insult? It's okay. You can always look. There's always something to learn. Yeah, there yeah. Is. and I think he brought you a couple of interesting articles. He did. He uh, did. Stuff that I hadn't seen but had heard about. So well, good. Yeah. Yeah, but thank you, Griffin, for what you did and uh, uh, our city councilman back then and so many people through the years, Miss Bessie Lou Harville and people like that who have really worked tirelessly to uh, restore this theater. Yes, though there was a lot that went on, Mr. Griffin and his father, and then of course those in the city council who backed them. And yeah. um, of course Nutcracker is a huge um, player. They, they kind of brought the theater back. That yeah. was the first production that really um, came through. So there are a lot of people who have helped along the journey. Yeah, and to those of you that tell me, I'm probably on a weekly basis, people say, y'all have the most beautiful downtown. People from Swainsboro and Wrights from Vidalia and Macon, different places. And uh, this was really what kick-started everything. Yeah. You know, uh, this could have very easily been a parking lot, but uh, they decided to restore the theater. And uh, this really kicked us off to have the beautiful downtown and the growth we've had. Yeah, and, um, you know, it's been everything from a cotton mill to, to just lying dormant, but that shows that an empty building being historic is yeah. better than tearing it down yeah. because it always has potential. Yeah. Um, so, Well, it's kind of like the skyscraper. I never thought in a million years, I, I said many times, why do they tear that down? You know, it's just an eyesore. All those years, me growing up, and it was just sitting there, you know, we go to the top, crawl up to the top like a lot of young kids, you know, and yeah. get up there and look off the skyscraper, you know, but uh, look what this community has done there. Yeah, there's always, something to be repurposed with a yeah. modern use. And that's, I think this is also a prime example of that. Mm -hmm. um, you walk in and it has this art deco feel. You feel like you're stepping back in time and our employees um, always harping that these people should never leave upset. You know, it's yeah. customer service. It's making them feel like they've stepped back in time. And so that's what we strive to do and what we hope to do with the coming yeah. renovations. And so. you look downtown at uh, Dino's, at the walls and their company supply or places like that, you know, to see the the original brick up there. Right. Uh, and I don't care if you ordered different brick and maybe they were antique brick, you could not bring back that look, I don't think. No, is it's all natural. Oh, yeah. it is, it's beautiful. And, uh, and we do have a beautiful downtown, but uh, tell me about, first of all, we're gonna talk about this year, but this past year, we saw a lot of growth at the theater. People are coming back to see the movie yes. and different things. Tell mm -hmm. me about that. So we reopened the Martin Movie House in no this past November. Um, a year ago and um, of course this was a Martin movie theater in the 30s and it has functioned as a live performance venue um, since then and but we wanted to get back to our roots of a movie theater while also showing live shows and concerts so um, we went and we have invested in a state-of-the-art mm -hmm. movie projection system um, and we are super excited to say that it's successful. If you haven't been able to come, I encourage you to. Um, we have a 40-foot screen that comes down um, from the top of our stage and it is absolutely breathtaking. We also have a projector that is crystal clear mm -hmm. um, and it's really state-of-the-art. We um, have the largest retractable electric screen in the state of Georgia. How are you getting some of these movies? I mean, really good movies. I mean, I know you got some older movies, but uh, I know me and my granddaughter come by the other day and she's been wanting to see this movie. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna embarrass myself. Uh, Ralph Saves the Internet or what? Breaks the Internet. Breaks the Internet, <laughs> thank you. But, uh, and she saw it on the marquee out there and she said, well, Papa, there's that 
that movie I want to see, you know. So that's really cool because that's a pretty current movie. Yeah, so we can do anything that any other movie theater can mm -hmm. do. Um, it's actually been a very interesting process learning the movie business because um, you just kind of get thrown <laughs> in. Um, so we have um, contracts with, all, with Disney, Warner Brothers, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Um, and we work with a booking agent. Um, we tell her what movies we would like and she speaks on our behalf and requests them. Wow. Um, so we show first runs, classics, off the break, which means they're still in movie theaters, but it's two weeks old. Mm -hmm. um, so we do a bit of, you know, multi-use programming. So um, that's how we do it. We just work directly with the movie industry. In Listen at you, Miss Movie Star, <laughs> off the break. I mean, she's throwing terms at us. None of us understand, do we? But all we care about is you understand. Yeah. <laughs> and get really cool movies here. Yeah. So, but that's good uh, to be tied in to major, you know, you started talking about Disney, you know, you're talking about major movie production companies. So, uh, that's really good to come back because, you know, my generation, we grew up at the Martin Theater. I, we, well, and it's, not, it's different now. We get dropped off right there at the curb. Uh, and uh, I remember dad giving me $2 for me and my brother and sister, and we could get in the movie and drink Cokes and eat and eat pickles and popcorn and, and goobers and whatever yes. else, uh, snow caps, you know, all the favorite candy in a movie all afternoon and watch movies. So, and you stay, you can stay out of trouble. Yeah. Uh, if you got through before they picked you up, we could walk downtown to Woolworth or Dunn's or, or uh, L, uh, all these different uh, stores downtown, J.C. Penney's, places like that, before the malls ever come. But, uh, and now we've brought it back. Uh, I think it's really amazing. Yeah, that has to be some of the coolest stories I've heard are um, some folks coming and saying, I used to come here. One thing that I hear a lot <laughs> is that they would, their parents would give them money. They would go down to Jack's Hamburgers and get a sack uh, of Jack's and then bring yeah. it down here and eat. That's what a lot yeah. of people say they did is yeah. they would go get Jack's Hamburgers and then come down here. And it's just cool to hear the connections that people have with this. Um, I think that's probably been the most rewarding was when the people who used to come here get excited about it. Yeah, and then the next generation after us, uh, and I'm almost 60, but the next generation uh, did not know what downtown was because downtown didn't exist downtown USA and it didn't exist here in Dublin so it skipped that generation but now it's back and young people are down here by evidence uh, uh, Tara shared with us last year at one of the downtown coffee breaks how many selfies are taken downtown it was some crazy number you know I won't put you on the spot but uh, to throw a number out at me but it was just a uh, uh, just a wild number, thousands, tens of thousands of selfies. Yeah, and I kind of fell into that gap where there wasn't a downtown. We always drove through it, but there wasn't anything here for my generation to do until, you know, mm -hmm. the revitalization happened. You know, strip malls came in, box yeah. stores, and that kind of ruined downtown USA. Yeah. And so um, I missed that experience, but now as a millennial coming into it, that, that's where, and I know everybody talks about millennials, it's not all about us, but that's where they want to be. Yeah. They want to be in the historic places. They want to be in that raw space where, um, where it's, you know, that organic kind of feel. That's right. So I'm glad we're getting back to it. Absolutely. Well, we're going to take a commercial break and come back, and we're going to talk about this year now and some things going on here at the theater we got some exciting things going on you want to stay with us we'll be back right at this at bank of dudley we understand that buying a new home is a time of many decisions and we're here to help and answer all of your questions that might arise during the mortgage loan process our mortgage specialists shirley clements and sherry Adderholt, have over 75 years of combined mortgage experience backed by a bank that has served this community since 1905 Call or come by and visit with Sherry or Shirley at our Veterans Boulevard branch or go online at bankofdudley.com and get started today. Bank of Dudley, creating a custom mortgage experience with competitive rates and terms is what service is all about. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Welcome back everybody. Continuing my conversation with Liz Coleman with the Downtown Development Authority and specifically the theater. Okay, uh, you got some big things going on. I think you're about to, this month and next month, do some remodeling or some changes. Tell me about yes. that. So we have been rewarded a grant, um, a large grant of $150,000 um, to 
do some renovations to the theater. Um, we're super excited about it. So what our goal is, is if you come into the theater, you see the lobby that was renovated by, um, mm -hmm. headed by Tara Bradshaw when she first got here in about 2013, 2014. Um, and we are excited to carry that same feel into the auditorium. There's, um, they did a great job renovating it the first time, but it's, it's time to be shown some love. Our, yeah. <laughs> our HVAC system is about 20 years old and you know, you, important. yeah, that's very important. <laughs> so um, we're excited to do that. New carpet, um, cup holders is something we hear a lot about, which I totally understand. Yeah. So we're excited to have those little details that matter um, and to be able to do that. It's gonna, it's very exciting. So. You know, we may be shut down for a couple weeks at a time, but don't worry, there are good things coming. Yep, and uh, I hope you have it ready just in time for the big event of the year, St. Patrick's. Of course, we're yeah. trying to make sure that that will happen so that we can have the theater open as always, and we expect that it will happen. Yeah, pressure's on, huh? Yeah, pressure is on. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot to do. Yeah, because our first event, uh, Miss St. Patrick's, yes. we always look forward to. Of and, course. Uh, uh, and I always, uh, I can't remember sitting in the seats down at the bottom and watching anything, but uh, we're always working upstairs in the balcony, but I love the view from the balcony. And I love, my it's favorite thing is to look down at the crowd and the things I'm at, it's just packed in here uh, with mamas and daddies and grandpa and grandma and aunts and uncles and, and you know, every generation uh, it's not just people my age and older, but it is so fun to look down and see the smiles and the, and, and just the fun people are having no matter what's going on. It is. The balcony is the best seat in the house. I wish yeah. we still had balcony seats, but we don't. Yeah. But it is. It's a different view from up there. Um, you get to look down and see all, you know, all the different people that are in there and see that cultural events and art events, and they work. Yes. They do work, oh, and yeah. it brings people. We have 30,000 people come through the theater each year, and that wow. tells you people want experiences, they want art, and they want events, and that's what we're glad to do, and that's why we're excited to have this grant so that we can do it and do it more effectively in a space that isn't just somewhere that you come sit down, but that is an experience. That means, like, new paint colors. You don't, you don't think about those things, right. but the special touches is what makes it feel, you know, Absolutely. To be there. Well, it's like, uh, you know, you talk about a first impression with different with people or whatever, and it's like walking in this lobby. The first impression is it knocks your socks off because, you know, well, you see the backdrop now, and those of you who haven't been in here, but our backdrop is pretty well carried all the way through here, uh, and you're looking at some of the shots, just like the ceiling and uh, the, the color of the paint, the things like that. It's, it's alive is the way I would describe it. Yes, it definitely is, and we're excited. We're working with um, a professional designer to make sure that it's carried through, you know, correctly, and um, we're just really excited to get going, but of course, you know, there are those first initial steps you gotta go through first. Yeah. And, you know, you, something that's very important, you know this, is that marquee out front. Mm -hmm. People, uh, believe me, if you don't get it changed in time, like if the event was Saturday night and you still got up, Miss St. Patrick's, whatever, the, it's en not good. the, the ensemble <laughs> or whatever it is, uh, people notice that. Yes. Yeah, they, this is a th something that people, and I don't think I ever come by here, I don't look over at the marquee. I don't know why I do that, but, and I'm, I, I hear a lot of people say that. Yeah, and this is a very photographed area. At yeah. night, if you haven't seen the marquee, it, it's neon, mm -hmm. so it's that old feel, and it's just beautiful, and you can get a fantastic picture, so it's, you know, we rent out our marquees if people want it for special events. And so okay. it's very, it's a very photographed um, area along with the plaza and all that during prom, this place is just booming with people. Yeah, and it's great for television because we can set up out front and you can spin, you can, you can have your shot downtown, spin the bank, spin the Carnegie, spin City Hall, spin First Baptist, all spin historic. the theater. Yeah, spin Bicentennial Park. And I don't know, I didn't count just how many things I just said, but that's seven different shots, seven different shows uh, without going anywhere. Now, that's pretty cool for television. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I have, appreciate that. Yeah, <laughs> no, listen, I, it wasn't me. I'm just glad yeah. to be a part of it. Yeah. But it is, we have something really special down on this corner um, of, of downtown. It's um, the plaza has really pulled it all together. Yeah. Um, but the Carnegie, the theater, having the Fred Roberts right there, and then the fountain all together 
connected with the farmer's market, which the farmer's market isn't historic, yeah. but it's just a special little nook. It is. Um, you can't really beat it. Not all downtowns have this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have people um, and resource teams that come down here to say, what are y'all doing? And we're just lucky to have people who paved the way for us and who saw that it was important. Absolutely. Our forefathers uh, did a wonderful job, and I'm sure uh, there were some disagreements along the way. But one good thing about Dublin and Lawrence County, you, your parents, you know, y'all grew up here and you know Dublin. But I tell people, friends in Macon and Warner Robins, different places, but even the people here in Dublin that might not really like each other that much, if there's something good to be done, we all get together, you accomplish that goal, and then you go back tomorrow maybe not liking each other again. Yeah. But, but at least our community gets together, our leaders, our city council, our county commissioners, downtown development authority, the Dublin Lawrence County Chamber of Commerce, the Lawrence County Development Authority, everybody works together. Well, at the end of the day, everybody has a different opinion or a different idea. That's great. But it comes together for the good of what needs to be done and, and you just get past it. And that is a good thing about Dublin. We can, we can all look past it at the end of the day. And I've always said it's healthy to disagree. Now, we don't have to be disagreeable. We don't have to be ugly and argue. But it's great to have different ideas because, you know, I've always said I may come up with an idea that might be kind of dumb but it may trigger a thought from you, and all of a sudden that kind of dumb idea triggered somebody else, and all of a sudden now we've got a great idea. Yeah. So we should all give our input. I completely agree. It takes lots of kinds to make the world go around, and yeah. that's how it works. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and you can, uh, uh, people watching us right now, you can rent the theater, can you? for? A yes, you can. So if you have um, a concert or um, something that you're interested in, you can always give us a call. Um, we do rent out the theater um, and, and work with you in that way. Um, and it's just a call away. We'd love to meet with you. Um, we do go over programming together to make sure it's appropriate mm -hmm. for the theater and to make sure that it follows our policies because we do have those. But if you're ever interested, you can always reach out. Same with outside. If you want to have a venue outside or farmer's market or yeah. Bicentennial Plaza or whatever. So I manage um, Theater Dublin, the Carnegie Library, Bicentennial Plaza, and the Farmer's Market. Okay. And those are all venues that are able to be rented for special events, um, weddings, um, baby showers, anything, birthday parties. You can always reach out and we can go over that. We can see if the date's available and I'd be glad to work with you. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got everything here, uh, indoor event. How many will? Uh, how many seats do we have? Six twenty. Wow. Yeah, We've got a good. Uh, listen, we have a lot of people, a lot of professionals. When we had the movie system installed, um, Cinevision from Atlanta did that, and they walked in and they said, "You have a gym mm -hmm. on your hands." Yeah. They said, "We we don't see theaters like this much." And um, I just don't think people realize how special what we have here is. We have a six hundred and twenty seat auditorium, a very large stage. Mm -hmm. um, and in a state-of-the-art movie projection system now. And so it's just really special to have that here. Yeah, and it's full a lot of the times. I know every event might not sell out, but um, so many events, the gospel sings, the country music uh, legends that come in, and uh, I know I've been to many things, and you look down, and the Nutcracker. Uh, yes. They have, what, three or four showings? Uh, multiple showings. Yeah, they do three, and... Pretty much almost all of them are full, um, and it's, it's amazing. That's one of our biggest events we do each year, and we're super thankful for them because, mm -hmm. like I said, there's something that, we're, that they were a part of the comeback of Theater Dublin, so we're always happy to work with them. And if you've never been to the Nutcracker, bring your granddaughter, bring your daughter, bring your friends, bring the ladies from the church. Uh, We've been fortunate enough to do uh, shows here on TV 35 in the, in the backdrop, basically. Uh, but the costumes alone, uh, I dare say, uh, and Kim Hatchett had told me at one time, it was over $100,000, I do know that. I feel safe saying that, but uh, the, the, the money they have invested oh, in the costumes. Yes. Oh, it's yeah, amazing. It's, it, it is, and they, use them, they take very good care of them and use them over and over again each year. And um, it's just really rewarding. We have people come from surrounding counties, drive an hour for rehearsals to be a part of the Nutcracker. Mm -hmm. We're really the area Nutcracker. You can go to Atlanta, you can go to Macon, but, but we have people that travel from Macon to be in our Nutcracker. And that's yeah. just, we have, it's a hundred little girls and little boys yeah. that are running around and get the experience to dance 
with professional dancers where they might not have that opportunity, which is what we're about downtown is giving everyone the opportunity to be involved in art and culture. It is so good and so precious. Uh, anybody's never seen the Nutcracker, I love it personally. I, I'm biased, I'll full disclosure there, but uh, it's just great, and especially in our community, to have, we're, we're so fortunate to have uh, the things like we do. Um, I was doing a show, and I know you're on the board with ABC Women's yes. Clinic. Uh, Becky's been a friend of mine for 50 years. That's a long time, <laughs> isn't it? But uh, probably twice your age. But uh, but we're very fortunate to have an ABC Women's Clinic here. Yes. Most communities don't have that, mm -hmm. or a lighthouse for uh, Alzheimer's patients, for their caregivers, right. or this theater, or this downtown, or that farmer's market. Uh, uh, and on and on, I, I could keep going, but we are so fortunate uh, because, as you know, go back to millennials, uh, so many in the past had to leave, they go to college, and then they had to end up going somewhere else to work. Well, it's changed now. It we has. have uh, companies from Latvia and, um, and uh, Israel and Germany, yeah, yeah I mean, uh, just worldwide companies here, and they continue to come. And these are the kind of things that draw them. We, yeah. can't, we can't underestimate that. No, definitely. And if you had asked me if I would be back in Dublin, I would have said no. My degree is in theater. Yeah. I would have said there's nothing I can do in Dublin with That's my right. degree. And, and the Comeback Kid Theater Dublin proved me wrong, um, little to my knowledge. But I'm very excited to be here. Yeah. Well, thank the good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> that you did come Thank back, you. and I know your sweet parents are glad of it. Yes, too. yes. Uh, Liz comes from a wonderful family. I'm going to tell you, she has wonderful uh, parents and uh, been a part of this community for many years, your grandparents and, yeah. uh, and uh, multiple generations. Uh, you come from a long line of Lawrence Countyans, but we're going to take another break and come back and wrap things up. Stay with us. I thought I'd lost my business in that fire, but my agent was there before the flames were out. He said, together, we're going to rebuild. Our employees depended on it. My independent agent and auto owners made sure we didn't skip a beat. I mean, we didn't miss a single payroll. For whatever lies ahead, we're always there. Or Insurance in Dublin is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we'll come back to wrap things up. If you're just joining us, I would be Liz Coleman, and uh, she is with Downtown uh, Development Authority, and responsible for multi-facets that we mentioned a minute ago, theater, farmer's market, bicentennial plaza, Carnegie library. Did I leave something? <laughs> <laughs> events. Events, yeah, that's right. And we'll plan an event. If you don't have an event, we give you an idea for an event. Yes. So uh, we, we can help in so many ways. And, uh, but Liz, you went to Georgia College in Milledgeville, um, and you mentioned a minute ago, you never thought you'd be back in Dublin doing what you're doing. Never right. in a million years. Would Never you? <laughs> in a million years, nope. Um, you know, stuff with arts and performance, it's just growing up, I didn't really have that much of an opportunity here, but now that things have moved forward, there's renovations being done, art is coming back alive, especially downtown, and especially in the theater, there's more opportunity than ever. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm excited to be here, and I'm glad that um, I was proved wrong. Yeah, uh, y'all, if you're watching us in, Wrightsville or Soperton or Swainsboro, Eastman, wherever, uh, come visit our downtown. I was in Swainsboro not long ago and uh, a business owner, I won't say his name in case you don't want me to, but uh, he owns a major business in Emanuel County. He said, James, me and my wife came over to Dublin this week, past weekend and eat at a place called Company Supply. And it was just phenomenal. So I love, and that's just one story, but I have so many people from out of town at these different places that come to town, eat at Dino's, Company Supply, or, or one of our many restaurants, uh, and just can't believe that we have that in Dublin. Yeah, you have to, I don't know if y'all know, but just about now, even on weekdays, you have to call ahead and reserve a table. Mm -hmm. It's gotten to where people from outside of the counties are, are coming every weekend, and, and you can hardly get a table, which is fantastic. Bad for your tummy, but fantastic. That's right. <laughs> and, I'll tell you what I love, and me and my wife, uh, when we come through downtown uh, on a night, week, night, weekend, and there's people walking up and down the streets, there's cars everywhere, uh, laughing, having a good time, the restaurants are full, but more importantly to me, 
is everybody walking around having a good time. And I'm a tag reader. I was telling Roger Folsom this weekend, and he and I are the same when it comes to this. I love to read tags because mm -hmm. I, whether we've got an event at Southern Pines or downtown, I want to see where people are coming oh, from. Oh, yeah, definitely. And if you read tags, and if you're watching us in one of those tag readers, there's tags from everywhere. Yeah, they always are. And we have a lot of people that say that they like to come through downtown and look at the tags because we service five counties around us. Yeah. And it, you, if you do come and look at those tags, you'll see we are pulling people from all those five counties. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's really amazing what's going on. Well, our market is over 200,000 people, so that's what we draw from. Uh, and if we only got two or three percent, that's a lot of people. Yeah. Out of 200,000, but uh, in some days I think we draw more than that. Maybe some days less. But uh, let's all go to the movie. That's what I want everybody to do. Uh, yes, please. Uh, you know, we grew up singing that song. Uh, some of you that's my age and older, you know, that was a big thing. Let's all go to the movie. You yep. know. And, uh, walk in the door and grab a pickle and a cold cola. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why that was a big deal, Liz. Your generation, I'm sure, wonders why we eat pickles at the movie. I don't know, but like I was telling you earlier, we had been told that pickles were sold here when it was, you know, a Martin movie theater. So on opening night, we had pickles and people bought them. And it's, yeah. it's, it was fun, you know. Were they more than a nickel, though? They were more than a nickel. Okay. But we can say that our prices are a lot cheaper than competitors. Oh, That's yeah. something that we pride ourselves on is yeah. that you can have an experience with a family that won't break the bank and you can come see a first run movie doing yeah. that. Um, our tickets are for first runs are eight dollars for adults and six dollars mm -hmm. for children yeah. and then for classics it's five dollars for everybody. I mean you really can't beat that. And, and the then, concession stand is so much cheaper than going to a typical movie wherever you do go. Yeah, we. I was at, um, unfortunately, I had to go to a chain theater to see a movie that we just weren't happening to get here. And a large Coke was $7. Yeah. You And I was like, yes. you know, at our theater you can get a popcorn candy and a regular Coke for $7. I was like, I yeah. feel a lot better about that. Yeah, I know. And when I cover events here, now the, the challenge for me is uh, a lot of you don't know this, but this one of them backdrop things I'm going to share with you, but uh, I always get a Coca-Cola over here at the concession stand, and the way to get to the balcony from the inside now, I'm not talking about the outside, but from the inside is a straight up ladder. Yes. And to hold a Coca-Cola, and Kevin's behind the camera, our cameraman, he knows this, but to go up there and I always have to go up the ladder with one hand, with one hold arm. the coat, and you grab it. Just pray each. you don't fall. <laughs> yeah, I'm praying the whole time, as a matter of fact. But uh, but it is challenging and yes. it is fun. But uh, like I said earlier, uh, to watch an event here, um, and look, we've got a lot coming up, so I wish you'd be a part of it. Uh, Miss St. Patrick's, let's sell it out. Those girls work hard. Um, um, the Dublin, uh, the distinguished young women are the littlest leprechaun. Come on now, who don't like to see? I know, it's, that's one of my favorites each yes. year. Seeing all those little babies dress up as the leprechauns and, and competing, it is so sweet. And if you don't know any of our events that are going on, we regularly update our website. It's theaterdublinga.com and martinmoviehouse.com. Okay. So you can always look there to see what events we have. Okay, we've got it right there on the screen. Jot it down and uh, you heard or they keep it up to date if they don't call Leah so but, but they do you update that marquee and update that website and uh, um, but it's just so fun to be in the theater and it's such an exciting time of the year so uh, go on the website uh, St. Patrick's we have over 40 something events some of them are here but uh, come out and be a part of the theater and I'm telling you it's beautiful in here and if you're just downtown during the week and you're from out of town uh, Liz and them are usually here unless you're at lunch. Yes. <laughs> and uh, you can, the door's unlocked, just come in and look around and uh, if you want to have an event here, uh, just give them a call, they'll be glad to do it. Liz, thank yes. you so much. Thank for you for joining. having me. Always fun to talk yes, with you. Yes, sir. And you do a great job. Thanks. You do a great job <laughs> and uh, even though I, I sold you short on that history, didn't I? No, it's okay. But uh, anyway, uh, we want to thank Liz for being a part of the show today and we want to thank you for joining us today. Come on all, everybody, and let's go to the movie.